Hello friends, welcome back to the next session on operations planning, scheduling and control. Now let's begin with our learning. In this particular session, we will be able to understand and deal with the concept of manufacturing resources planning, the learning objectives. At the end of this particular session, the learners will be able to understand what do we mean by manufacturing resources planning, what is the importance of manufacturing resources planning and what are the various activities that have been undertaken under the concept of manufacturing resource planning. Now let's understand what do we mean by manufacturing resource planning. Manufacturing resource planning which is also called as an MRP that is a second perspective is a business oriented information system. It is a type of a system in which the business planning activities are being undertaken with respect to the overall manufacturing process that has been implemented in the organization. The MRP that is material requirement planning is been divided into two categories the MRP1 and MRP2. With respect to the MRP2 it is the composition or the participation or the orientation of the manufacturing resource planning and hence manufacturing resource planning 2 is an extension level or the activity of material requirement planning that has been undertaken and in terms of the material requirement planning it is a system that has been implemented for effective management of materials in the organization so as to see that the assembly line that has been there into existence it does not get affected and there is a proper communication between the inventory or the stores department and the production department so the coordination or the communication between the staff of the organization availability of material or goods in the respective assembly line and the budgetary factors with respect to the availability of material, cost of material, quantity of material and so on are being to existence in a very planned way and hence manufacturing resource planning is also implemented with respect to the material requirement planning that is into existence. Now when we build a certain amount of system either related to the material requirement planning or manufacturing resource planning we need to see that the various combination of all the factors with respect to the consolidation, integration and analysis of data is being undertaken. This particular activity is being undertaken to schedule a proper sequence of activities. We have to design a certain amount of engineering position and accordingly the movement of goods and services is being undertaken in a very effective way. The management with respect to the inventory and the factors with respect to the finance department as to control on cost is essentially required to be taken into account and for all those particular concerns the manufacturing resource planning is essentially required. Now let's have an overview on what do we mean by MRP. MRP that is both the MRP1 and MRP2 are considered as the forerunners of an extension of an ERP that is an enterprise resource planning which is a certain method in which a corporation or that is a typically factory controls and integrates the activity aspects of its operations. So whatever activities which are of a critical nature all those particular activities are being controlled in a very effective way and hence the implementation of those particular activities with respect to the enterprise resource planning wherein a particular software or a particular system is being implemented and the activities are being conducted in a very well coordinated way. So right uh, from the activities of planning with respect to the purchasing of raw material, procurement of raw material and disbursement or finishing of a raw material into a finished goods, all those activities are being conducted in a very effective way. And when all those activities are being conducted in effective way based on an ERP system which is an extension to the management information system, those particular activities are called as an MRP and hence initially we have an MRP which is in combination or which is an extension to the MIS that is management information system and from those particular concern we get the concept of MRP1 and MRP2. MRP is a material requirement planning and MRP2 is material resources planning and hence we have to conduct the activities in a very well coordinated way. Now the concept of ERP which has been mostly commonly associated with a certain amount of software. So based on a certain, certain amount of software, certain amount of programs have been given for a certain machine or for a certain assembly line and those particular uh, programs that have been created, they assist the business organization to conduct an activities in a very well coordinated way. And when all those activities are being implemented in a well coordinated way, then we can say that a MRP system is being there in an effective position. Now let's understand what do we mean by manufacturing resource planning. So manufacturing resource planning that is MRP2 is again a computer based system 
which looks for a certain basic, specific or precise results as to production which have been undertaken on the basis of real time data. So whatever real time data that has been provided by the MRP that is material requirement planning in conduction with the ERP which is into existence all the activities have been conducted in a well coordinated way with a predefined objectives or tasks that are or a decision that has been given for them and the machining objective is been conducted in a very effective way. So coordination of the activities with respect to the suppliers, the vendors, the manufacturers, the dealers and the suppliers is needed to be undertaken and then the activity gets completed within a specified time frame. MRP2 is frequently used on its own but is also a component of large enterprise resources plan. So MRP2 is a regular process activity that has been implemented in all the organizations. But in case of the large scale organizations, the concept of ERP that is the enterprise resource planning with respect to a certain software or a manufacturing level activity is been implemented in order to see that those activities have been conducted in a very effective way. Now let's take the real world examples of MRP2 software. So what are the various MRP2 software which are available as on today in the market? The various software that are available into the market are IQMS, the Fishbowl, the Factory Edge, the ProdSmart, the Abbas. Then another uh, uh, software that we have into the market is Oracle NetSuite Manufacturing Edition, the Epicor and the S2K Enterprise. So in this way, these are the various real time examples which are available for the MRP2 software into the market and an organization can implement or purchase any of the software and they can implement or function their activities in a very effective way. So either of these particular software can be implemented and accordingly those particular software help the organization to conduct their activities in a very effective way and in a better well coordinated way. Now let's understand the difference between MRP1 and MRP2. MRP2 is very effectively and is been superseded a part of an MRP1 software for because it has a certain uh, convergence of the objectives that have been conduct that are uh, drawbacks that have been there in MRP1. So with respect to the MRP1, a certain series of activities was not able to be conducted and hence MRP2 is an extension level of an activity that has been conducted on the basis of MRP1 to MRP2. So the majority of MRP2 systems have all the features that have been implemented or incorporated in MRP or an MRP1 software and hence it is an extension level of MRP1. MRP2 is always been included or is capable in the activities that have been performed in terms of logistics, in terms of marketing and general finance. Additionally, the master production scheduling with respect to the billing of materials and inventory monitoring, monitoring is also been undertaken in terms of MRP1. The MRP1 software is a very limited concern in which only a limited amount of activity is being undertaken but in case of MRP2 several number of activities are being undertaken and based on those several number of activities those particular activities are of an advanced level. May it be related to the logistics, may it be related to marketing, may it be related to finance and so on. So either related to the inside the organization or outside the organization all activities or the functions can be performed with the with respect to or with the help of MRP2 software. The MRP2 software for example is an account for elements that can be considered for capacity utilization, more accurate and comprehensive picture of the company's operational cap capability and hence MRP2 software takes into account all the features and functions of MRP1 and is also providing an extension for a qualitative results. So, Whatever factors or implementation that can, can, that can be undertaken in MRP2 is of a very advanced level and hence the utilization of capacity of a certain staff, resultant output whether it is accurate or not, identifying a comprehensive picture of the organization in terms of graph analysis and so on can be easily undertaken with the help of MRP2. The MRP2 system software also includes a certain amount of simulations that is if there is an increase or decrease in the general price level, increase or decrease in the amount of availability of raw material, changes in the assembly line, changes in the functions of management or in the strategic decision making, all those simulations are being easily shown by a certain management and accordingly the software provides a certain results about how the changes in a certain decision can impact the other factors. And lastly, the MRP2 is frequently referred to a closed loop system because it, it capacities to look over the feedback on a given process. 
and hence the MRP2 system is a closed system wherein in a particular concern whatever decisions or whatever commands that have been given for that particular software only based on those particular commands certain resultant outputs will be shown by that particular software and hence this is the difference between the MRP1 and MRP2 software. Now let's understand the MRP13 major functionalities. Based on the functionalities, the three functionalities of MRP1 are master produ production scheduling, the billing of materials and the inventory tracking. In terms of uh, MRP2, there are another three major functionalities that is the machine capacity scheduling, the demand forecasting, the quality assurance and the general accounting. So these are the various major functionalities which the MRP software either one or two is been undertaking. So from this particular concern we can or this session we can understand that MRP that is manufacturing resource planning is still an extension or a part of an MRP which is an extension of the MRP one that is material requirement planning. It is also a standalone situation or a solution for an ERP software which can be implemented in the organization. So initially or gradually we had an ERP into system into existence then an advanced level of MRP1 was there and accordingly the a more advanced level of MRP2 was being implemented or incorporated in the organization. The enterprise resource planning or a software are the components or the out product of the products that have been considered in the MRP2 as the successor and hence ERP is a successor or a predecessor of the MRP2 as a part of a certain software. Next concern, the both MRP and MRP2 are considered as the forerunners of the ARP software which in a typically factory or a particular control or a plant layout or a material requirement planning, every activity can be conducted with the help of MRP that is into existence. Now let's summarize what we have seen in this particular session. In this particular session, we have understood what do we mean by the material requirement planning and manufacturing resource planning how forecasting of various activities are being undertaken with those particular perspectives and what are the various activities that have been performed in this particular scenario. I hope you must have enjoyed the learning. Thank you.